beach bike. Let me show you how I got it set up. Stay tuned. Before we get into what I'm going to talk about here, let's look at some of the issues of just storing it back in your garage. One thing to keep in mind before you start setting up your beach bike is if you use a hoist to get it out of the way in the garage, what is the weight capacity of that hoist? This one that I got from Harbor Freight only has a capacity of 44 pounds, so I can't put all the stuff that I carry in the saddlebags in there where it blows up to about 47, 48. So keep that in mind, and now let's go out to the beach and I'll show you how I have this thing organized. Now let's get into how I customize this and some of the lessons learned. The first thing I realized is I needed a milk crate on the back to be able to haul a lot of my stuff. Let's go zoom in and I'll show you what I've got attached there. Here's a pro tip when you're setting your bike up on the sand. Put your kickstand on a big shell where I use the cutting board I use to cut up live bait. That'll keep it from tipping over. Here's how I attach the milk crate. I use these two heavy duty cable ties on the hoist and I've got two other cable ties going around the bike rack that's in the rear and that gives me the connection I need to make sure that this does not come off when it's being suspended from the ceiling. Now I recognize that I also need a sand spike in my seat and I basically just attach those using a couple of these bungees as well as the Shibumi sunshade that's going to keep me cool. Now to do my rods, I put a backer board on here using a cutout of a cutting board, attached the PVC, and I made sure that the rod would not interfere with my saddlebags or my rear wheel. I should have mentioned earlier, I had to put a rack on the back of the bike. Here are the saddlebags I purchased, and you can see the heavy cable tie that I ran through here and then up through the milk crate to attach the milk crate to the rack. And that allows me to have a good connection for my hoist. So what do I carry with me and where does it go? Up in the milk crate, I've got the heavy stuff. I've got my cast net. This is the kids version that's a little bit wider, but is still a six foot net. I also have my small cooler for my lunch. I throw my water up there, and that's the heavy stuff that goes in the milk crate. Now, I mentioned earlier that this is too heavy to suspend from the ceiling with everything in it. So for my saddlebags, I've got two pockets on each side. And what I did is I got these big plastic freezer containers, and I labeled them with what goes in each. Now I know this is the left side, bottom, so I can quickly pop that in there and get organized when I get to the beach. And what's in each? This is camera stuff. Left upper is scent, a couple lures, fish bites. On the right hand side, I've got my tools, knife, pliers, <coughs> and fish grips. And on the upper right, I've got my pre-done rigs, line, and weights. That way I know where everything is and I can maintain that load plan for consistency. Now let's move to the front and let me show you what I've got up there. I've got three attachments up here on my handlebar. I'm only showing two right now. I've got one of those Guardian Angel high intensity lights that'll clip on on either side of these other two. Now the most important one is the attachment for my phone because this allows me to track my GPS location and use my angler app but now the key thing about this is once you get to where you're going you need to take this off because if the sun beats down on your phone it's going to get hot and not work anymore it'll it'll shut itself down so when you get to where you're going go ahead and remove this then i've got my gopro mount right here which is nice and tight it allows me to get all the hero shots running down the beach just a couple things over here. I've got the gel seat to protect my sensitive butt. I've also got a couple Velcro straps that I can use to attach another rod if I feel like I need three 
I've got two back there on my milk crate. I've also got an air pump down here in case the worst happens. I also went to Walmart and bought one of these connectors for my water bottle because that gives me another place to carry one and frees up a little bit of room up in my milk crate. I would be remiss in not commenting on what you need to do for maintenance once you get off the beach. Be sure that when you get off the beach, you hose down everything, and I also go ahead and lubricate my chain after each trip to the beach. I do not want this to break or fall off or get jammed up. That's a wrap. That's how I've set up my beach bike. If you guys have additional ideas of things I should do to customize this, I'm all ears because Dick and I end up using these bikes quite a bit to get up to the Carolina Beach Inlet now that it's shut down for four-wheel drive traffic. Throw it down below. Thanks.